The biggest decision you have to make once you have the Acorns app saving for you is which brokerage to trade through. There are a couple of trends you must consider. TD Ameritrade is the largest brokerage with 52.43% of market share as it has been gobbled up by Schwab and has already merged with Scott Trade. E-Trade isn't as well capitalized as TD Ameritrade and is likely soon to be acquired by the banking system. These large traditional brokerages are being pressured by the fully online Robinhood stock investing app. And finally, there is Track and Trade, which is the best option by far for call traders like myself. Gecko Software is the only one of the three that offers no option contract fees and the option to create Roth IRA and traditional IRAs. This makes Gecko the best for active option traders like myself. For a free trial, go to scottbrownphd.com right now. Also, the only way you can see my actual charts is if you have the track and trade software. For that reason, track and trade is well worth it because I distribute my charts through it to teach you. But what about the Robinhood investing app? This is the perfect option for investors who have very small amounts of savings, under $5,000 or professionals like doctors and lawyers who just don't have the bandwidth right now to be really understanding how to trade through a more complex platform but want to try taxable trading but wisely limit the initial risk below five thousand dollars unlike acorns the Robinhood investing app does not help you save but it is great for investing small amounts of initial capital why if you start with five thousand or less and grow it to twenty five thousand dollars with call options you can move the money to the infinitely more powerful track and trade platform so when it comes to trading taxable individual accounts gecko software is the way to go when you're depositing large amounts of your savings to trade but robinhood is ideal if you're starting out with very little to invest like i said under five thousand dollars gecko software is ideal if you aggressively trade calls because you'll better be able to overcome the cost of the monthly fee there's a greater percentage the less you deposit and that fee is hundred and twenty nine dollars per month which adds up to one thousand five hundred and forty eight dollars per year does that sound like a lot of money it's not if you're trading more than 100 option contracts a month you're paying more than that to TD Ameritrade right now that and you're paying more for that for less functionality so I strongly recommend that you consider the track and trade platform if you're trading more than 100 option contracts a month. The Roth IRA limits are under $10,000, which means that you're better off rolling a large Roth IRA to Gecko Software because of the $129 monthly fee that you have to overcome. This is what I did with mine that was sitting at Charles Schwab. And this account was worth $17,000 a few months ago. And you can see how much it's increased since then. I'm much happier with Gecko Software than I was with Charles Schwab, which of course now is TD Ameritrade. And you may wonder how Robinhood stacks up against Acorns. The answer really depends on your investment style. If you're a passive investor, Acorns is great. But if you want to trade options and single stocks with tiny amounts of money, then Robinhood is great. And Robinhood is running a special where they give you your first share of stock for free which is fun, albeit relatively useless in the big picture. But if you want to seriously trade as a business, and Gecko Software is by far the best platform and is far better than TD Ameritrade, which is second best but far behind Gecko for serious stock option traders like myself. Robinhood Markets owns the Robinhood Investing app and operates out of Menlo Park, California. The Robinhood Trading app allows you to buy and sell ETFs, cryptocurrency, stocks, calls, puts, and American Depository Receipts, ADRs, across 250 multinational corporations, MNCs, on your iPhone, Apple Watch, or Android device. You can also trade cryptocurrency on another app from the Robinhood Crypto Division, which is also an SEC-registered FINRA SIPC broker. The company was founded in 2013 and makes money from interest on cash margin loans and the accounting float of 6 million clients. Founders Baiju Bot and Vladimir Tenev created high-frequency trading platforms for Wall Street before forming Robinhood. The company promises to give poor people access to the same financial markets as the rich with low transaction costs of $0.10 cents rather than $10 with no account minimums. But recognize that there's a reason larger brokerages have 
$5,000 or $500 minimums. That is to ensure that you have enough capital. So I recommend that if you're going to use Robinhood, do it because you want to trade small amounts between $500 and $5,000 in savings. But move it over to Gecko as it grows larger. The largest demographic with the least wealth are millennials birthed in the 90s and 80s with an average age of 26 who find the Robinhood investing app most appealing. Nine out of 10 millennials use the app at least once a week, while half use Robinhood even more frequently to trade. Robinhood Markets and Crypto has grown as large as E-Trade by 2018 with 3 million subscribers. Charles Schwab, the largest brokerage firm in the world with client assets of $3.8 trillion, has acquired TD Ameritrade for $26 billion, all stock with no cash. The combined firm control $5 trillion in assets, and TD Ameritrade will cut 60% of back office costs with a far more user-friendly trading interface than Schwab when the merger closes in the second half of 2020. The merger is the result of a brutal brokerage price war disrupting the financial services industry. Robinhood has never charged fees, and Charles Schwab punched back when it eliminated stock trading commissions in October of 2019. TD, Ameritrade, E-Trade, and Fidelity followed suit, and within a few short weeks, no brokerage in the United States stock market was charging commissions on stock trades. Schwab pulled 142,000 new brokerage accounts away from Robinhood and other brokerages as it enjoyed a 31% boost in new accounts in October of 2018. Investment banker Goldman Sachs is eyeing E-Trade for acquisitions as yet another traditional brick-and-mortar fintech tie-up against Robinhood, Acorns, Betterment, Wealthfront, and M1 Financial. The quest to recover lost commission revenue is pushing fintech brokerages to compete with banks by surviving on interest. Take Schwab that places uninvested client cash into sweep accounts paying investors just over a half a percent in interest. The brokerage lends this money out at a higher interest rate, earning a bank loan spread. This increases lending supply, tightening the prevailing bank loan spread. Banks have responded by launching digital investing services that have cut traditional fees. JP Morgan, that used to charge $24.95, now offers 100 free trades a year in response to the zero commission war among brokerages. I walked you through this crazy shakeup to help you understand it and show you what a change catalyst Robinhood has been. The company has gone from a private placement valuation of $1.3 billion in 2017 when it cleared $30 billion in trades to somewhere between $7.6 billion today with investments from accredited investors and firms Thrive and Green Roads Capital as well as Yuri Milner's DST Capital. Robinhood recently expanded into the United Kingdom and began offering fractional share trading to help micro accounts. The Robinhood app offers up to $50,000 in instant deposits with a gold plan and enhanced tools. MoviePass owner Helios and Matheson Analytics were banned as dangerous investments in the summer of 2018, making Robinhood the first major brokerage to penalize CEO lifestyle shell firms that plague the penny stock sector. Perhaps the biggest edge Robinhood has is brokering cryptocurrency because other fintechs have been slow to enter these quasi-currencies. Take as evidence the enormous wait list to trade cryptocurrency commission-free of one and a quarter million people by the end of the first day of Q in January 25th of 2018. Today, Bitcoin, Ether, Litecoin, and Bitcoin Cash can be traded in 46 states and the District of Columbia. Unlike the big stock brokerages, Robinhood has decided to join forces rather than compete with FDIC insured customer deposits at partner banks, Goldman Sachs, HSBC Bank, Wells Fargo, and Citibank. A very real danger was a Wall Street Bets code hack posted on Reddit that allowed Robinhood clients to get unlimited borrowed margin on the infinite money cheat code. Robinhood markets corrected the issue quickly, but not before some clients lost hundreds of thousands on leverage they were untrained and unprepared to control after being cheats. Robinhood has also been criticized for incompatibility with other apps, hoarded interest gains, stale quotes, cruddy service, 
a boring watch list, Neanderthalic reports and price charts, leaking customer passwords, and a lack of retirement accounts. Robinhood has been criticized for selling order flow, but this was no surprise to me. Where else could they possibly make up the loss of not charging a commission? Journalists at Bloomberg News and the Wall Street Journal discovered from financial statements that Robinhood charges up to 60 times more for order flow than rivals. This generated a one and a quarter million dollar FINRA fine for not giving Robinhood clients the best possible price. The moral of this story is that Robinhood is perfect if you're starting out with a few hundred or a few thousand dollars. But once you grow your account to $25,000, you should move it to Gecko Software. This will allow you to avoid pattern day trading restrictions where FINRA rules define a pattern day trader as any customer who executes four or more day trades within five business days. And you'll have enough capital and a proven trading record to receive a greater savings on high option contract costs all other brokerages but Gecko charge to offset the modest monthly software subscription costs. Most importantly, Gecko is the only brokerage that allows me to sidestep high option contract fees of TD Ameritrade, Schwab, E-Trade and others. Go to scottbrownphd.com for a free trial and my personal price charts now.